right, and then I'm uh, Sovereign Sage. So right now we are gonna play as Miu again. To f or we're playing, yeah. We're gonna go find our mother. We're gonna go find our mother. So I put her in this outfit here. So we have Hina Hinasaki's outfit too. This is the one they use for the American version. And then this is the Japanese version. And then this is the tormented outfit that she had from Fatal Frame 3. I didn't really care for this outfit too much in Fatal Frame 3, to be honest with you. I didn't really care for it too much. I'm not big on the whole red unless it's done correct. This one was cute, but I like this one, so. Miyu's mother Miku is on Mount Hikami. Convinced of this, Miyu takes the camera to obscure from Yuri's room while she sleeps. Steals that shit. Puts that shit in her pocket and drops it. So the eleventh drop, the Shadowborn. So the Shadowborn are children that are born between the living and the dead. Because Miku is living and her brother Mafuyu, who is Miyu's father, was dead. Um, they had a whole ritual thing that happened at the end of Fatal Frame 3, though that, that theory is so convoluted. I've heard so many takes on that, I don't even know which is real anymore. Um, they believe that before he crossed over, he met with her briefly, but I still don't understand how she became pregnant with her own brother's child. Rather, if he was a ghost or not, I don't understand that. That's the part I feel that is kind of disturbing to me. I understand her wanting to be with her brother because he's her only family, but I feel like that's more of a Japanese thing where the sister kind of falls for the brother. You, you don't really see... I mean, you do see that in other cultures. It's just... Where I'm from, that scene is horribly wrong. We call that incest here. Um, but I, my main point... Aside of all... Oh, that's not even the main point. My main point is how did she become pregnant with her brother's child when he's a dead spirit? That's the part I still don't understand. Even years later, I don't understand that. And no one's been able to explain it to me correctly. Because um, it's not said how. It really isn't. So anyway, having brought Yuri back from the Lake of the Departed, Miu stays a while at the antique shop. Convinced her mother, Miku Hinasaki, is somewhere on Mount Hakami, Miu knows the only way to find her is to follow her shadow. To do so, she needs the help of Yuri's camera obscura. Because people keep saying that at the end of Fatal Frame 3, cause there's there's multiple endings. One where she gets she crosses over and she leaves she leaves Ray behind, where she's like Miku, don't leave me. And then there's one where you do save her and she wakes up with you and K. There's two different endings in that game. Um, one where Miku wants to be with Mafia so bad that she allows herself to be consumed in the dream. Um, and then there's one where she don't. Same thing with K. In that game, you need to get the spirit stone earring and give it to him to keep him in the in the world of the living, um, because that earring, the only other person who had it was Reika. Um, but if you find the spirit stone earring and you give it to K and have him keep it on him, you get to stop him from crossing over. As for Miku, though, I can't remember how you get her to stay. I don't know if it had something to do with the lullaby stones, because. Uh, Kay gets the stakes, the four wooden stakes, and then she gets the four uh, lullaby stones for the maiden song. And then Ray collects the four pieces of the shattered mirror that c represent Reika's feelings and before she died. Um, so, like, they each have to collect something. But I do remember getting the spirit stone earring is how you keep Kay. But I can't remember how to keep Miku. There's something you have to do. I can't really remember what it is. It's not important right now. Um, I saw Mother's Traces appear in the cemetery. Maybe I'll be able to find something if I examine it using the camera obscura. I wonder if I can borrow it one more time. I wonder if I can steal all of her shit. This outfit is cute. I don't know why I haven't used it before. She says, I want a chance to use all of them. The camera should be in Yuri's room. Yeah, there's multiple ways to get to Yuri's room, though. You can go down the stairs through the study where Ren stays at, or you can go up and around through here. So this is Hosoka's room right here. That's why it has the doors violet, like a blue, because that's her color. So each character is represented by a color in this game. So Yuri's represented by orange, Hosoka's represented by blue or violet. 
She's kind of represented by a white, and Ren is kind of like a... Well, his is hard. Um, kind of like a grayish brown, kind of. Look at her just sleep in there. Yeah, so I put her in uh, Ray's outfit from Fatal Frame 3, because I hadn't used it before. Looks like she's having a bad dream. Looks like she's sleeping peacefully to me. So they both have a ring on. I can't see it on her finger, funnily enough. Yeah, it's not there. I gave it to her. Gave it to both of them. They both have a ring on that's called In This Cage. It's supposed to be on their ring finger, but... What the fuck? Wow, the camera obscura at my disposal. I'll find Mother for sure. You can now use it. There were notes, some notes, and a photograph under the camera. Is this from when my mother went missing? Why would Yuri have this? So subject, Miku Hinasaki, client, Itsachi Ayama, friend, token, personal photo, details, disappeared searching for her missing brother, Mothley, but was found. Mother of one, father unknown, disappeared again three years later. Uh, note, photographer, client is guardian's daughter. Result, search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. It's her photo. If I use the camera to follow her trace, I can do it. I can find her. Using the camera obscura makes me feel closer to the other side. I know. My family had one too, but all that's left of it now is the case. Is that why my mother was spirited away? Because she used a camera obscure? Mmm, I wouldn't say that. No, because the phone of death, this looks like Yuri's diary. When did I realize I could see things that others could not? When did I realize that I could hear the voices of the dead people? They tell me things. They whisper to me. The same things over and over. I have to cover my ears so that I don't accidentally listen. If I listen to them, I'll know. And if I know, I'll accept it. Many, many voices all talking to me. It doesn't make any sense. If only I could stop them from whispering to me. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, the ring. Oh, is it there? Is it? It is. It is. It is. I see it. I was gonna say, where the fuck's the ring I gave her? Immortalize her. <laughs> I gave both of them a ring. Kind of feels funny to say that. It's like they're my virtual brides. I, I'm not into that. But yeah, I did give them both a ring, though. It's called In This Cage. Hi! What do you want? Huh? Nani oh. Akure. No, it's Yuri. It's Yuri. It's Yuri. <laughs> Why would I be able to do this? No, seriously, why would I be able to do that? Why would I be able to do that? Mmm, my four shot. Fucking Kazuya. Freak. It's fucking. Kira. You look good, boy. You look good. <laughs> what is she doing? Yeah, a picture of her just sleeping. Yeah, I don't know why. Why would I have been able to do that? Like, why would I have been able to take a photo of her through the wall? What the fuck? That ate up a lot of my points just now. 
There are a lot of lights in here. I mean, I know this is an antique shop and they probably have plans on selling those, but it is weird. I like the sound of clocks. Believe it or not, I have two clocks in my room. A blue one and a purple one. And I've had them for years. I can't sleep without them. The sound of being able to hear time passing is calming to me. It's already making me tired. I better stop. Now I have the camera obscure and a photograph of my mother. I'll be able to follow her trace. This time, I'll find her. I don't know, they say it stems from children that like to listen to their mother's heartbeats when you're in the womb. Supposedly, clocks have a similarity. Now? What are you doing? They say dogs often like clocks when they're puppies. Our dogs used to when they were still alive. We would put a clock next to the box they would sleep in, and they would sleep. Supposedly that's where it stems from. It's a belief that the sound of ticking clocks remind people of their mother's heartbeat when they're in the womb. I don't know. It's different for everyone, I guess. What? I mean, how would you be able to remember that anyway? Fuck. I sure as fuck don't remember being inside my mother's stomach. I don't think anybody else does either. That's just, that's just weird. I don't want to stay in here too long because they'll show up. I like to grab items when I can, because you stockpile them, basically. And all three main characters use the same items, so whatever you pick up as one character, the other one will be able to use. So I'd always try to pick up items, even if I have enough. So my Wii uh, U version, I maxed out. I have like 9, 99 of everything. I can't hold anymore, really? What the? No, oh, but yes I can. I, well, it's probably because it adds up. I have 77 out of 99, and if I picked up that last one, it says I can't carry anymore. So what does it give me? Close to like 30-something? They don't, you, they only have 10 at a time. Every film you pick up is only like 10, I think. What the fuck? So it's like, don't do this shit to me. They're like, no, you can't care anymore. Anyway. He should call out to me right here. When you come down, I think he says wait. Tarahita. She's slower because Yuri and Ren have a full on run, and this is the fastest that she goes. Now nah, I got it. Yeah, when this is the fastest her run is. Because Yuri is faster, she has a straight on sprint practically. But I feel like Yuri is the fastest out of all three because Ren is just a little bit faster than this. He has like a full on run too, but his is kind of jank. Oh, 
Hold on, let's see if they'll let me go down and pick up these items. If they're there, are they? No. Yeah, that one is. Okay. It's kind of weird that this game has guiding cursors because the previous games didn't. Basically, if there's an item that you can pick up, it'll put like a white like curve of light on the either side of the screen, depending on what side of it you're on. It'll show you like left or right, bottom or top. And if there's a ghost near you, it'll glow red and show you which direction they're at. Better be careful when doing that. They do appear in my face if I do that. Oh, there. Okay, it's saving, so... Better not do it. Wire motherfuckers. What did I just say? There's two of them. Let's go him down. Stopping me from locking on. For your friend? You gonna come? Yeah, you are. So they come to regenerate. Um, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to resurrect him. I don't have the lens to stop this. So one will go down to his knees and the other one will go up and sta uh, slam the staff down in front of him and he'll do like what appears to be a ritual and he basically shares his what you'd call spirit energy to the other one and resurrects him in a way that they, they both come back at full strength and you have to, there's a lens that you can shoot them with that stops them from doing that. What you would call powering up is what I would call it. There's a lens that stops them from being able to do it but I haven't found it yet. I think I, I'm gonna be getting it soon, actually, in the house of joining when you get there as her. Which is where we're trying to get to right now. I actually like the white kimonos you unlock later on. The, the wedding outfit, the bride outfit, it's like a white kimono. They actually let you play in it. The only thing is they take the veil off. I actually use them a lot. I like them. I thought they were cute. I like kimono outfits in pretty much every game I play. If I have a game and I figure out there's an unlockable kimono outfit, I'm like, hell yeah. Except for somebody was asking me about my Samurai Warriors 4 Empire outfits. Uh, they were asking me about Okunis and a couple others, and they thought that they were unlocked in-game. Don't you do it. They are not. Get off of her, you freak! They're DLC outfits only, by the way. They were also in Warriors for G4 Ultimate, and I had to rebuy them again. Stop. I'm serious. Mother. Mother. Okasa. The hallway. What? This way was blocked before. Mother must be. Yeah. Go. Me, you got that ghost to go away. What an exorcismal woman. <laughs> I'm serious, she appeared and he like fucked off. <laughs> He's like, not the heroine from the first game. Hell no. 
There was people really mad about this game. They were saying that she was wasted potential. They were like, she was the best character and Koei fucking did her wrong. But people don't understand that she was like that in Fatal Frame 1 and 3 as well, where she wanted only Mafuyu. She often rambled about how she wanted him. Always wanted to be where he was. She was like already always like that. That's not anything new. Anyone who's played the previous games would know that. Because he was like her only family, she basically became obsessed with him and I, that's why some people keep speculating she fell in love with her own brother. Which is confusing to me still as to how she became pregnant with her dead brother's child. I understand wanting to be close to your only family, but how did she become conceived? What, is she fucking playing the Virgin Mary here? Because that's what it feels like. I was abandoned. Four years ago, Miyu came into my life. But now, I have to leave her. I don't have long left. I can feel that the end is close. Everyone dies alone, but I don't want to be alone. I have learned of a thing called ghost marriage. Yeah, she wants to marry herself to her brother's soul. Because her brother's still in the land of the dead, and she can still meet him. So she's thinking, if I tie my soul to his, then I'll be with him. Like, basically, she's gonna die, because she's living. In order to join the other side, she has to die. That's what the ghost marriage is. is. Yes! What I like about 5 a lot more, too, is when it comes to these ghost images like that, they make them easier to capture. As were in the previous games, if you didn't have your reticle, it turned green. And if it wasn't directly on the ghost, you would just miss it. As were here, even if it, it puts a little white circle as to where you're supposed to be, but if you if it's still in your box frame, like the, re the rectangle, if it's still in the rectangle, it still counts as you getting it. As were in the previous games, if you didn't get the circle to line up, you just lost it. I hated that. So this is the bind lens that freezes the photograph subject for a time. It's kind of almost like my slow lens, but it basically freezes them in place, stops them from moving. I don't know what I want to do um, when it comes to my lenses, because on my Wii U version, I think the lenses I'm using the most... I think I was using... I have the green one to restore, so I had Restore, Crush, and there was another blue one that I used to use. Um, might have been blind. So right now, I have slow. That's my slow lens. I know I had restore and crush, and there was a different blue one. I mean, I can always look it up. I can turn the Wii U on and figure out which lenses I'm wielding. But I had them set up the same way to where it was like blue, red, and green. So it reminded me of Ocarina of Time. How red is power, green is courage, blue is wisdom. Red was Ganondorf, green was Link, and blue was Zelda. <laughs> it's actually like that in um, my other games too. People pay attention to my color schemes. Um, a good note of that is in Tokid and Kiwami. If you look at the three Matamas that I'm wielding, I have them set up in an angle to where... Yoshitsune, or Yorimitsu rather, is at the top, he's red, and then at the bottom, um, I have one that is green and one is blue. I think I have, um, I can't remember their names because it's been a while since I played that, but I have the one guy who people thought was a girl and he's a poet, and then I have another girl, um, well, that was blue. So, I have him set up the exact same way. Yeah, uh, can I go see where Ren is? It was this way, wasn't it? So in my last video, I think it was my last video, I told you to remember where the room was that Ren wakes up in. I'm gonna go upstairs and get attacked by Kazuya, because why would I not do that? They want you to follow the wedding celebrant, but I'm gonna ignore her for a moment. I love his scream, because it sounds so convincing. So Ren is in here, by the way. Her hand just stuttered super. He's gonna attack me in here. Kazuya? There's 
Wren. What's he doing here? So this is what I don't understand. So this is where he finds he finds Rui and she pulls him into the reliquary and he gets caught in that dream. Um, and he wakes up here. So the funny thing is, I guess while he's passed out on the floor, before he wakes up, Miu is the one who is peeking at him through the door. Um, what's even more funny is, how does he not hear her being attacked by Kazuya in the next room? Like, this is a thin wall with a sliding door that opens in the wall like a window. How does he not hear this? How does he not hear this? Or in your case, reach for the spider lilies, considering the fact you're dead. I don't think I got it. No, I didn't. Lekai says he could do it after you basically said you couldn't, which is the whole reason why you died in the first place, you idiot. When he says I could do it, he's talking about the ghost marriage. He looked into the black water and was too afraid of death and tried to flee from it, and that's why he was crushed and put in a reliquary. What did I say to you? I can't remember. What the f- oh. No, the door. The door isn't closed, so when I'm trying to read, spin her around and act. Don't you even. What the. Avenge me again! Vengeance evader. English, please. Yeah, so if you evade that enough, you get trophies. I do like how this game has trophies. You didn't have trophies on the Wii U version, so it's kind of neat. I actually really am glad I have this game again. It's one of my favorites. I really love the lore of it. I love how it is different than the other games. People like to glorify the previous Fatal Frames. The previous ones had something that this one doesn't, I agree. But I feel like they are all unique and different in their own way and should not be compared to each other. They are each their own separate titles in a series and com comparing one to another just kind of really doesn't seem fair. You're not really giving the creators a chance to ex like mess around and experience with something that's new. And expecting something to stay the same all the way, like the same all the time, is kind of boring, I feel. I mean, yeah, I like having stuff stay the same too, but I feel like it's fun to embrace Let things that are different. What do you want from me? Please. Like how you peered through me. Kazuya. He's like, let me merge inside of you. That has a different meaning. So we need to take a photo of our mother. Isn't this the room? Yeah, the look. Look button. Get off! Get. The fuck? Alright. Actually, it's not now. I think it's when I come back. Mother, are you there? Yeah, it's, you gotta trigger it. The sounding of that door opening sounded more ominous than it should have been. Ooh, not again! Get up! It's because I let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. There is actually a trophy I think you get if you let it kill you, but my life gauge is pretty big, so I would have to let her struggle for a long time. Um, there was something I was gonna say, now I forget. Oh yeah, because I got the Vengeful uh, Vengeance Evader trophy, they're gonna be doing that to me more now. Once you unlock that, it becomes more 
apparent. All right, I know where I am here. Inori? It could be Inori, but I feel like it's Inori. Being held by a powerful force. Yeah, you gotta take a picture of our mother. Hold on. It's kind of creepish. Because that's not what it really looks like. That's what they're telling you it looks like. But that's not what it really looks like. That's not even what it looks like at all. Alright, hold on. I hate when my get me uh, notifications on my phone, and if I don't accept them right away, it locks my phone up. My old phone used to do the same thing. Like, if I get too many notifications and I don't clear them out, it, like, slows my phone down. So when I go to unlock my phone and open it and I go to, like, pull a tab, it'll lag for a minute. I don't know why. It just it hates it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in here. Don't worry about me. I'm not gonna worry about you. You made me waste it, you fuck. Wasting spirit energy here. They don't let you lock onto them, I forget. His face changes. He is a weird ghost. His face will change. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. He kind of looks kind of derpy looking when you first meet him, but then when you take that first image, his face becomes more defined, and he almost appears to look like some kind of like a native Indian or something. I don't know why. He looks really derpy looking, and then when you take that first image, his whole face changes. Hello, mother. room with a mirror, just like in the photo. The shadow disappeared from the picture. Mm. They do that as a trick. There's really nothing there. It just opens for you so you don't have to do it yourself. They do it to try to scare you. If a ghost wants to open the door to make my life easier, I'm not gonna stop them. Hello. The bride continues to wait for her dream. They will be waiting forever. Enery? What the fuck? I didn't mean to do that. Her breasts are but a waterbed. Look at that. For my for my male fans, here you go. Here's some sugar candy for you. <laughs> the way she laughs let me like that. Enough of the shit. 
Give it. Give it, Anari. She melted into the floor. It's also because she's super wet and drawing all the ghosts' attention. Should probably, uh. Alright. When you let your character stay super wet like that, it draws attention. That's a fighter again, anyway. It's pointless. What the shit? It'd be funny if you just open the door and there's just a face. <laughs> so used to, um... Fuck me. I knew it. It's okay. Uh, Miyako Sudo in Fatal Frame 2 used to do that. When you would open the door in the Osaka house, she, her face would appear right there. You're not my mother. Near not her. like me. Can you stop? There's another lens you get that it causes more fragments to appear. Do more damage. I can't fit them all on the screen. This is a tiny area. There's so many of them. Give me that notebook. I want it. So like everybody knows the Shrine Maidens can turn into other people. That's how they lead them to their deaths. Because they turn into like their beloved uh, loved ones. Or people that they're searching for. And then they secretly lure them. Because it's like you think it's like your brother or sister or wife or girlfriend. And it's like someone else. It's them. <laughs> it's secretly them. Where uh, was she here? Did my mother leave this? I have to go now. I could... I could always see things that no one else could see. Only Mafia, you understood me. I could never tell him how I feel, though. He left before I could tell him. I could never look him in the eye. He'd have known how I felt if I let myself look at him like that. It was difficult being with him, but it was better than being alone. He doesn't need to understand me. I don't need to be with him forever. If I can just ease my brother's suffering for a moment as he keeps the gates of the underworld sealed. In the end, who will be by my side? Let me do this. Please forgive me. Yeah, because he's been trapped there in Himoto Mansion. I think he took um, Kyrie's place or some shit. Keeping the gates sealed in her place. There's two endings to Fatal Frame 1. One where you escape with Mafuyu and one where he stays behind to help ease Kyrie's suffering of holding the gates closed. 
as the real priestess. I think that him staying behind is actually the true ending. That's the way the game's supposed to be. Because you can only... He only escapes with you when you play on hard difficulty. That's the only way you get that ending for Fatal Frame 1. You have to clear it on hard. The default ending on easy and normal is he stays behind and she escapes alone. God, the sound dropped out. So we're back in the wedding room, which is why I told you earlier to remember this room. It becomes very important throughout the end of the game. All three of the characters really kind of like come here. Well, mainly Ren and Miu. Yuri never comes here. She already knows who she is. Get off me! Get off! Seriously, what the fuck? Hold on. Nah, I took so much damage from that. Oh my god. You should rejoice, child. I'm a freak. <laughs> Watch for them fireballs. Hey. Shit. I literally just said. What? Hmm? They're behind me again, aren't they? This time the valve will what? Huh? Wait. What the? Hmm. Ah. I didn't get it. My film takes forever to load this way. Fresh. Oh, don't know. Don't oh, fuck. No, it's too late. I can't. My film's regenerating. It's regenerating. I can't. Damn. Stop. Please, please don't. Let me out of here. Let me out. So she has the same power as a funeral celebrant. This will make this easy. Yeah, now that I know, it's easy. She's never caught me with that ever. That's the first time that's ever happened to me in my life. I've never let her catch me with that, ever. I didn't even know she could do it. Can't run. 
fuck me. Nope. Nope. Fuck. I'm screwing this up. I'm screwing this up. never caught me with that ever. What the fuck? I knew a funeral celebrant can do it, but the wedding one can too? Oh my god. The ghost marriage allows pillars to persist longer. Maidens who become pillars must be bound to someone. Sad though it may be, no maiden can endure the pain they suffer within the well aquary on her own. We brought many men to Wadose, but they all had a change of heart. The joinings failed. I feel she might be waiting for Master Oso to come back to her. But even if he does come, there is no guarantee that she will be the one he chooses. They may have made a promise, but we know that outsiders have fickle hearts. Yeah, they made a promise to always be with each other after he left the mountain, but he... Like I said, I think he was the one who got killed by the rogue priestess. In one of the games, they mentioned they found a, cor a torso, I think in Fatal Frame 3, they mentioned finding a torso with the legs and arms and the head ripped off and I believe it belonged to him. I think he, he was killed by the rogue priestess for pursuing his camera obscura bullshit since he's the creator of it. That is so see-through. I'm gonna stop looking at that before, uh... Yeah, okay, let's go. So, as soon as you leave here, you get attacked by two Shrine Maidens, and they start laughing at you. Ugh. I just wanted to make sure you were following me. Apparently you were. There was a glitch on my Wii U version when I was playing in the Zelda Hyrule Warrior outfit. I went through here, and she got stuck in here, in this little, what do you call this, box room, and she was being attacked by a shrine maiden through the wall, and it was absurd, because I couldn't get to her, because she got locked behind this door. So, let me... Are you gonna come through? Okay. The trial what? Huh? What? Y you know I'm you know I'm a shadowborn. Uh oh. Of course they would know. Why would they not? Hold 
on. Hold on. about that fucking shit. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Having a walkway with a garden like this reminds me of home. Hey, are you coming? Stop me again in here. They never stop. They never fucking stop. Oh. Miku. 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 Come on. Come on. Alright. What the fuck? Okay, now watch his face. Remember how he said it changes? See how he looks kind of derpy? Now watch. So you gotta go look at his face, right? Now watch when I take another photo, watch it completely change. I'm lagging. Oh, Kazuya. Or is it Kate? It's Katie. See how his face changed? You see it? What the fuck? Look at him, look at him now. Look at his face now. Hmm. He goes from being like really derpy and ugly to kind of almost a little more appealing. What are you doing, KG? Sir KG? You look good. You know, you look good. I'm inside of you. Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. Lovely. KG, ow! No, he's on top of me. Get off me. Crush, Lens. Freeze, dude. Oh my god. Right. We're doing good. We're almost out. We're almost out of here. I don't know why his voice, his face changes, though. It's weird. Like, he, he's like really derpy looking, and then you take that photo, and it's like his whole face changes. I don't know why either. He's the only ghost that does that. His face changed. I mean, they're all of their faces change, to be fair. Let's be real. Let's be real here. All of their faces do change. But his is the weirdest. 
mean, all their faces do change, but his is just so weird and subtle that it's different from the others. Because the others get more, like, I guess darker and uglier, as where he is the opposite. He starts off as derpy and becomes kind of appealing. Kind of, not really, just slightly. He grows from like a negative 100 to possibly a 5. Walk slowly down the path to me, mother. I can't stay in viewfinder like this for too long. Otherwise they'll appear and get me home. Come on, mother dear. It's funny, that's what I call my mom in real life. I call her mother dear. <laughs> I have a friend who really likes Miku, so this this is for you, buddy. This is your girl, right? <laughs> this is your girl, right? Ah, oh, this is your girl, isn't it? All right. Yeah, he really likes her. I'd say glorify her, glorify her is even. Well, I mean, I guess he glorifies her. I don't know if he really does, but it feels like it. Basically, Miu stays out of the game till right up until the end where her mother disappears. Basically, you can't play as her anymore after this point. So Miu finally found Miku in Mahakami where she had entered into a ghost marriage at the House of Joining. Miku explained her desperate wish to be reunited with her beloved, pleading for Miu's forgiveness, aka her brother Mafuyu. Miu led her mother away from the mountain and back to the antique shop. Miu and Miku lay side by side and quickly fell into a deep sleep. Should be quickly fall. Or maybe it should be laid, as in past tense. I think it should be laid side by side. Trophy acquired, the shadow bond. Fine, Hisoka! Oh, this is gonna suck. Literally. put her in this outfit since we haven't seen her in it. Rescued by Miu, Yuri decides to continue chasing after Hisoka. Across the mist of the Lake of the Departed stands a massive tori, leading to the shrine on the water. To the other side, chapter 12. Yuri ponders what she saw at the Lake of the Departed, Hisoka's shadow vanishing into a thick veil of mist. She recalls the tall Tori gate rising from the lake, marking the entrance to the shrine on the water. Could Hisoka be in that shrine? Yuri knows she must find a way across. She goes to investigate the shrine of the Ephemera. Hisoka went to the lake at the top of Mahakami. Of that, I'm certain. A large Tori gate is visible from the lakeside. There must be something out there. If Hisoka is out there, there might be some clues in her room as to why she went. 